Hey guys, my name is Shayla. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. We talk about motherhood. We talk about pregnancy. We do things a little bit naturally, a little bit granola. I have in She's, a, she's like 16 months in three days. So I have a 16 month old. If you're into any of those things, please subscribe. I'm about to start a podcast that's coming out in the fall. That's really exciting. Connect with me on Instagram, hey Shayla. All the things are hey Shayla, just to make it simple because as moms, we need things to be simple. Today's video is how to support a new mom because before you're a new mom, I had no idea. Oh cool, she just had a baby. I didn't understand what needed to happen or what I what I should do or that the attention should be on the baby it should be on the mom that I needed to bring over a meal or that I I didn't know oh, I'm gonna just go hang out with you now I know when I go to visit a new mom I bring her Jimmy John's it doesn't matter I just bring her some sort of food ideally something she can eat with one hand and or maybe some coffee and dad dad could use some coffee as well I know that I'm gonna be flexible with the schedule so if we're supposed to meet at 12 and they're late it's fine Babies don't follow a schedule. So if you're trying to meet up with a new mom, be very flexible with the schedule. When you're there, offer to do some chores. So as you're chatting and you see dishes in the sink, just start loading them in the dishwasher. And I say this, do chores, like maybe do it at your sister's house or like a very, very best friend. Because if somebody came to my house and they're like, can I do your laundry? I'd be like, no. Or if they were like, can I take your baby and you go take a nap? In those first couple of months, no. That causes more stress. So like. Read the mom. If the mom is like, no, I really don't want you to take my baby, don't take their baby. But if they're like, oh, that would be so nice, I could go to get a nap, take their baby so they can go get some sleep. When you call when the baby's first born, ask how mom is. Try and focus on the mom. So when you, oh, oh my gosh, your baby's just born, how are you doing? And when you ask them, is there anything I can do for you? Don't ask them that. They're gonna say no, they're gonna say they're fine, they're gonna say they're good because they probably are. Because they probably don't even know what they need to tell you for what they need because they're just surviving. And their brain is literally shut off because it's just made to keep this human alive and do nothing else. She needs basic help. She needs food, most of all. Most of all, she needs food. She's having a hard time feeding this baby. She needs food while well, breastfeeding a baby and hopefully not spilling anything on that baby's head. Those are the things I wish I would have known before I had a baby. Maybe those things are obvious, but I was completely clueless. To the future new moms, your baby needs hardly anything. Don't worry about having enough stuff for baby. You will have enough stuff for baby. And if you don't have the things you need for baby, you can get those things within two days or down the street. All baby needs in the first couple of months is you, clothing to stay warm, food, either your boob or the bottle or formula or however you're feeding them. They need their diaper changed and they need to sleep. Literally, that's it. Trust me, that's it. You, on the other hand, need things to help with breastfeeding. I have an entire video on this. Just like your nipples are gonna get chapped, they're gonna get sore, you're gonna have to figure out breastfeeding. Please go see a lactation consultant, ideally before you leave the hospital advocate that for yourself, are either repairing from a C-section or from a birth. So there's lots of, I have a whole video on how to repair after tearing. There's a numbing spray, there's pad sickles that you can make, witch hazel, there's all sorts of things that you need to be doing to take care of yourself because your baby's chilling, they're eating, they're pooping, they're sleeping. You are the one that needs to recover. And in the United States, we do a terrible job supporting women to repair pelvic floor health after they have a baby. Why? I don't know. I used a program called Expecting and Empowered and I'm an ambassador for them and I can't recommend it enough. They have a pregnancy one. If you're still pregnant, hop on that. It helps you to prepare for labor. And then once you give birth, it helps to repair from labor. There's stretching, there's pelvic floor exercises, and there's workouts in every single one. Yes, 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 yes. Hey, Shayla gives you $10 off. These workouts start day one and it's like stretching and pelvic floor work. Nothing really happens in the first six weeks except for that. Do it. Now let's talk about how to support a new mom after she gives birth. I kind of touched on it with the things that I wish that I had known before, but now I'm gonna talk about like the actual tangible things. Thing number one, when the baby's born, send them a DoorDash gift card. I've got a link, it's like a referral link if you wanna use mine, otherwise just get on DoorDash, send them a gift card. That way they can have a nice meal in the hospital. Somebody did that for us and it almost made me cry. I was so happy to get just a yummy meal in the hospital. Another gift that somebody got me was a growler of coffee when I got home. That was like the greatest thing ever. I was like, oh my gosh, if you don't know what a growler is, it's like a, it's like a gallon 
It's a gallon. It's a glass gallon. I don't know if it's actually a gallon, but it's this huge thing of coffee. That was very well received. I very much loved that. That's a gift for dad too, because I'm moderating my caffeine intake because I'm breastfeeding, but dad doesn't have to and he's tired too. So that was a gift that kept on giving. You can just have groceries delivered. If you're like, okay, yeah, groceries, I'll have groceries delivered. What kind of groceries? Things that they can eat with one hand, snacks, send them nuts, send them popcorn, send, make sure you ask about dietary restrictions because I don't eat dairy and a lot of moms cut dairy because their babies can't handle it. So make sure that you ask them what their dietary restrictions are before you send it. So snacks, because they're gonna be snacking a lot with breastfeeding, and frozen meals. Things that they can just warm up, burritos, whole meals, that is a dream. If they're getting other meals, they can eat those meals and keep those frozen for when they need them. Yes, frozen meals. And if you've got like a group of friends, set up a meal train. You're gonna send something on Monday, you're gonna send something on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Maybe scatter it two days, like Monday, not Tuesday, Wednesday, not Thursday, Friday, not Saturday, Sunday, so that they're getting like, they can have leftovers. You could door dash food to their house. You could send groceries, but just making sure that people are on it to send meals. It's called a meal train and it's perfect. If you are going to visit the person, be honest about any illnesses that you have. A newborn baby has like no immune system. So we need to make sure that we're keeping the baby safe and not giving more anxiety to mom. And with COVID, everyone's freaking out about everything. So if you're going to say, hey, I really wanna come see you, but I've got a sniffly nose, I'm gonna wait till I'm healthy. Hey, I'm not vaccinated, so what are your rules with vaccinations? Or hey, I am vaccinated. How are you guys doing visits? And just like be totally okay with whatever they say. Please do not be the people that make parents feel bad about their decisions. Their decisions are only protect, only to protect their babies. And everybody has their own set of rules. Some people are like, cool, only with masks. Some people are like, no way, you can look through the window. It doesn't matter if it's not the same as your what your sister said. Whatever those parents decide for their parent, for their children is what you respect. End of story. I feel very strongly about this. And then obviously wash your hands, sanitize your hands before you touch baby. Don't put baby too close to your face. Sometimes I would hand my baby over and these people would start going and I was like, are you, are you kidding me? So just, just, just try and be smart to people. I asked on my Instagram what people did for them when they were a new mom. We got, someone came over and mowed their lawn, huge. Their hairdresser came to their house and cut their hair. One of their friends hired someone to deep clean their house. My sister said she got a new cute pajama set. There are a lot of ways to support a new mom, but the majority of moms say food. Frozen food ideally, food that you can eat with one hand, snacks, coffee. When I go to my sister's house, even still, I'll just load her dishwasher. She's busy, I'm just talking to her, load her dishwasher. I feel comfortable doing that. Do I feel comfortable doing that to my friend's house? Maybe, maybe not. Feel the vibe. Okay, I asked on Instagram, but I'm gonna ask here, what was the one thing that someone did to you when your baby was born that you were like, this is the greatest thing ever? Put them in the comments so that people can look at the comments and get ideas because if you don't have a baby, you don't know. Please share this with somebody that needs to hear it. If you liked it, please subscribe, please like the video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.